Hello, Flynn. Denial. Denial. How is everyone? Excuse me. Forgiveness. That's a good healer. Purpose. Relationships. It's super windy AF. <laughs> Fear creeping up on everybody in all our relationships with self, with others, with jobs, right? With finances. What's going to happen next? We don't know what's going on. People want stuff to go back to what? Normal. <laughs> oh, we got a flipper again. Okay. So yeah, lots of this is necessary. I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. So that's a good topic because the blockages, right? It creates like, look, these are all like the little patterns even. Like it could be with anything. And the blood vessels of the body, right? The electromagnetic field within the mind, the labyrinths of the mental space. Um, it's so nice out today. Oh. Um, so, forgiveness, 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 can anybody remember that? Even if, even if you don't love me anymore, let Don Henley, trust and keep fucking laughing. It's like we get scared that fear creeps up or somebody pisses us off, or we piss ourselves off. <laughs> Allergies. Again, forgiveness. Forgiving self. Forgiving others. Taking the time to go through those things. You know, give ourselves a hug. Give you a hug. Give yourself a hug. All right, be like, good fucking job. All right, fine. So you gotta, you have to do something good, right? We're not like awesome, amazing at you know everything at all the time. We can only put as much energy as we can. You know, it's like you can only eat so much at one meal most of the time. Wow. Sorcerer, there's something behind here. Wow. The serpent. <laughs> the sorcerer and the serpent. Maybe I'll read those, eh? Pachamama. Water. Bruce Lee said, be like water. Everything Wawa. And 46 and 48. 48 is 12. 1 and 2 is 3. 46. 10. Foundation four and six, and then also one and zero, all numbers. Let me 
again, Serpent and Sorcerer, SS. So yeah, let's see if we can maybe read, whoa, Luminous Warrior, The Beloved, and The Moon. They just wanted to be shown, huh? Oh, and Smoky Mirror here. We're in a car. This is quite messy. Ah, ah. Smoky Mirror. The Moon. Luminous Warrior. Beloved. I think there's going to be a lot of quick cosmic shifts. There's going to be a lot of quick shifts. Quick shit. Quick shifts. Um... Yeah, I don't know if anybody else could feel it, you know. I can feel it coming <laughs> in the air tonight. Jaguar. Right? Definitely a wildcat day. And it's Friday, Friday. Viernes. I don't know. I know it's Venus Day. Languages, names, all that stuff. Is those leaves behind me or birds? I see them going behind my head. <laughs> oh, they're birdies, I think. The Gatherer. I love these cards. This is Shaman Oracle deck. Completion. Completion. All right. So let's see what we... Let's see what these cards say. The Sarsarar. And the Serpent. The Sorcerer. <clears throat> Again, number 48. The Essence. This is the source of dark power. The sorcerer represents the destructive aspect of the human psyche and the self-centered behavior that harms others. It symbolizes the unconscious beliefs and ideas that foster separation, conflict, and scarcity. Anybody else dealing with that shit? Oh my goodness. Let me close this a little because the... Wind is probably way, way much. And the traffic behind me. <laughs> Sorry. The invitation. Oh, and please hit like and subscribe. And the little belly dingy dingy. Forever grateful. The invitation. When the sorcerer enters your circle, you're being called to look at how your beliefs around scarcity and self-centered fear manifest in your world, right? So where do we feel like we're not going to be okay, where we're at lack, where there's not enough? Um, sorry, I was drinking tea with all oh, pieces of time in it. Um, and, and scarcity and self-centered fear. So false evidence appearing real. And then we're like, oh, but me, 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 I got to worry about me and nobody else understands. So trying to chill with those kind of devilish vibes because that turned us into a dark sorcerer and we start then people start manipulating shit right we whatever as beings then people you know because it's like a lot of time it is unconscious um you know not meant consciously you know people don't necessarily think yeah i'm gonna do that but you know a lot of motherfuckers do so fuck them in the sense that that shit just ain't nice but whatever let it be water um, anyhow, let's get back. So, but we want to take a look at ourselves where we could do that. So we're being honest and confronting self and take, you know, cleaning our own house out, right? Making room for the new because it's coming. So more we keep cleaning our shit, we're doing our side of the street, keeping our side of the street clean. You know, at least you're putting that effort in and doing that work. Okay. Um, examine the destructive part of your psyche that misuses power or harbors feelings of resentment, vengeance, lust, greed, bigotry, or hatred. It sounds like the whole fucking world right now, right? Isn't that, that's like all I see everywhere. It's like, that's all that's been going on. But 
ridiculous and everybody's in fear because it's like that that's what the virus that that's it exactly so we have ability to turn it into something positive as an upgrade or can feel the feeling of lack and self-pity and self blah blah me 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 instead of like i am gonna do what i can in this now moment right to clean my shit my thoughts my shitty thoughts and where am I coming from an imbalanced place? Right? What am I listening to that's making me feel iffy and a little like, nah, and not good? Because that's the virus or dis-ease, right? Uncomfortableness. I'm at dis-ease. So what do I do with that energy? Am I able to balance it? Breathe, use tools, get outside, take a walk, listen to music, draw, create, play, right? Take a bath, do so. What do I do with that energy? Yeah? Boy, I hate bras. Sorry. Oh, on a side note. <laughs> Anyhow. Sorry, I went left field there. All right, examine the destructive part. We went through that. So all those nasty shit feelings, harboring feelings of resentment, vengeance, lust, greed, bigotry, hatred, blah. Perhaps you've harmed someone because of these dark tendencies. And then you have guilt. If so, all is not lost, right? Because that's a sin too. It's heavy. That's hell. Heavy hitters. Dragon. Dragging. Right? Dragon. Eh, could be a heavy dragon, too, right? Dragon. Uh, depending on how you say the word, right? If I say it quick, dragon. Dragon. Am I talking about an animal? Mythological? Or am I talking about dragon? Taking my time slow or, like, being, like, slow as molasses because I'm so heavy because I'm carrying all these heavy feelings. And every emotion is connected to an organ in the body, which would cause a blockage. All right. If so, all is not lost. You have only forgotten that all beings are interconnected and the universe is abundant. The sorcerer arrives to challenge you. I challenge you to a duel. Hey, uh, I'm guard. I don't want to be a chicken. <laughs> Guess there was a reason I played that. All right. The sorcerer arrives to challenge you to change your thinking. You've given a second chance. You've been given a second chance. Correct your course and practice not blaming others for the darkness that lives inside of you. Make peace with it and choose another way. Yeah, that's alchemy. Master alchemy, turn in lead to gold, confronting our shadow self. 1414 14 in as I said that. One four, one four. Um, so that's how we alchemize, right? And Mercury's a fifth element, so it makes us a little if you look into like Isaac Newton and etc. Any of the old past uh, beings that have taken part in any of that that they talk about and misunderstand or misquote or misinterpret or etc. Or, you know, again, yeah, it takes time to continue going because there's a fine, there's a line between you got to keep going and keep out and give yourself time and space, do time and space for processing. It's the legal law, supposedly, yeah, that applies in universal divine law and definitely in the 42 laws of my uh, Right, so we don't get man don't get to change those laws. We can get mad about them and feel some type of typo negative way, but that's why we have to confront these things. What am I doing now that I'm like mad about? Because I'm feeling some type of way. Right, I'll look at that, <laughs> and then we can have a nicer day, a night, and all that other stuff, and that I'll be running around in fright at all these crazy. I don't want to be a chicken. All right. Have you, okay, the medicine. Have you been feeling out of sorts because you've been faced with your own character flaws and the pain that you inflict on others when you are out of alignment? Radical self-acceptance is called for now. Again, forgiveness. It's 
still under there, right? That's, I can't get it now. But the forgiveness, forgiveness and trust, right? Trust yourself. You know who you are. Yeah. I don't like that line through it as I showed that, though, right? Mm. So, trust in yourself. You're fucking amazing. Please hit like and subscribe. <laughs> so we can stay connected, literally. You know, so it's because really, it, we are all interconnected. You're amazing. I'm amazing. We're amazing, right? Keep, just keep swimming. And that's how we do it. And it's like with no, right? Look, man, no hands. Not looking, right? Not judging. Okay. You must reconcile these darker aspects of your nature so you don't behave irresponsibly and cause more harm to yourself and the ones you love. Right? A.K.A. C-V-D-B-B-D-G-B-D-G-B-D. Right? Ah, so we're either using healing, we're using our body and our mind and our words and ourselves as a healer, or we're part of the V word. Which one are you spreading? Right? What's in your cup? Are you spreading love or are you spreading the V? Uh. <laughs> I have to make some... Won't be copywriting some V-shirts. Remember that old show with the friggin' reptile aliens? That was like from like the 70s or 80s. Oh, I love that show. Check it out if, you, if you've never seen it. Old school serpent. Old school serpent TV show way back when. I remember it when I was like four years old or something. All right. Um, it's time to come out of denial and accept responsibility for your words and deeds. When you meet the energy of the sorcerer with humility, this destructive power transforms into grace, mm -hmm. which you can use. I'm not always so graceful, but it's like, yeah, but yeah, <laughs> but I laugh a lot and I play a lot. Um, you know, I get angry a lot too. Well, I alchemize a lot. I got a lot of fire in me. <laughs> All right. Dragon. <laughs> Destructive power transforms into grace, which you can use in service to the highest good. And that's what's up. How are we using something? Perhaps it's time to make amends. Do it. It will set you free from the shadows and let you step into the light. Into light. Where is it? I'm like, into light. <laughs> All right. Well, my foot's falling asleep. And that was awesome. And I so appreciate you joining me now and always. 1919, it just was 19 minutes, 19 seconds in. And um, I'm just going to give us one more little card to go out with. Actually, I'll pull a crystal. And then please look up the crystal eh, um, energy because that'll help you throughout the weekend you know that'll be a good healing model or um whatever the message may be oh from the wise old owl so maybe look up 39 owl symbolism which also three and nine is a 12 in the circle medicine wheel And the serpent was the first card we pulled, but that wasn't it's circle eating its own tail like Ourobora. However, it was a serpent, so we, but we just got the wheel and the circle of hands with the kids. So that was quite beautiful. So let's just see what Crystal Energy would like to make its appearance and guide us through the weekend. Today's Friday, March 26, 2021 for a timestamp as far as that goes. Oh, there we go. All right. Number one. Uno Primavera. Black Tourmaline. 
So I got a little homework assignment. Oh, black tourmaline. What's it all about? What's it about? I'll come back and do another um, video specifically on this. And maybe we'll just do the tourmaline. We'll see. I don't know. Time will tell. We gotta just let it flow. So thank you again so much for coming. And please hit the bell and subscribe and the thumb up or downers or whatever. Pretty, pretty, please. And until the next time. Peace out.